What's up guys, it's me Alan. I'm back with another video. I'm back with another NASCAR Authentics diecast review. And for this next one, th this is a really awesome main scheme. Uh, it really is. This is Brad Keselowski's Tron car, AKA the E-Cascadia Freightliner Ford for Penske Racing. And um, my buddy Jonathan, who took me to Loudoun last year, uh, he wanted him this. He wanted Brad to win in this car at Loudoun that day. Um, I can't blame him. The paint scheme looks nice. Let's go ahead. Let's get this out of the box, and let's get on with the, the uh, review. There is the sticker, of course. And here's the die cast out of the box. So, yeah, no, this, this is an ama this is a really badass paint scheme. Uh, and, and it's there's a as the front windshield is loose and slightly popped out on one side. Both windshields are loose. Um, but there's a reason why I call this the Tron car, and that's because it, it just gives off that vibe. The the, the paint scheme and the lines. It looks technological, and it looks like it looks like it belongs in a in Nitron. Um, but yeah, Brad, he ran this car uh, at Loudon last year. Uh, I think he might have ran it a couple of other places afterward, but Loudon's the one I always remember. Um, and that's because I was there for it. I got to see it in person. Well, kind of. I mean, I got to see it from the stands, but you get my point. Um, and. It would have been really cool to see Brad win. Of course, we got to see our Gomorola get the win, which was nice because, um, you know, it, it might be his last career cup victory. But Kozlowski did lead a bunch of that race and did a pretty good job at it. Um, so you can't blame him for the fact of thinking that uh, he could potentially win in this car. Um, and if he did, I think that would have been cool. It would have made for a great race win diecast, I think. Uh, it would have made for a great, you know, winning die cast either way. Um, but yeah, Brad so far with RFK Racing has, um, it's been a rocky road. Um, I mean, the, the big penalty that he got from Atlanta, which, um, he lost the appeal on this week. Uh, that's gonna screw him and his team over big time for, for him specifically, not for Busher, but just for... Uh, Brad, and um, it's going to be interesting to see how they come back from it because at this point, it's either win or there's a chance you're not making the playoffs this year, and so far, he's had some decent runs, but he hasn't been able to put it together <laughs> Excuse me, to get a win yet. Granted... Talladega is in two weeks, and uh, he won there last year, hence the race win sticker. So there's always a chance that he can pull a win off there, or maybe the Daytona regular season finale if he doesn't have a win yet by that point, um, and potentially challenge, you know, and potentially get himself a playoff spot. But by that point, I wonder how many guys are going to have multiple wins at that point. Um, because it feels like we're going to have several different winners. Although, granted, William Byron won last night to be the first repeat winner of the season, so there's that to think about, too. Um, but anyway, badass paint scheme, badass car. Um, it was really cool getting to see this live um, and in person, and uh, it's also nice to see the paint scheme, the, uh, the sponsors still around um, with paint scheme and whatnot. Uh, it's just weird with the forward-facing numbers, but whatevs. Um, with all that being said, please make sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, drop post notifications so you don't miss out on future uploads, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.